Another archetype that desperately needs supports, this time going back to 5Ds with Nordic support and Battle Chaos. So let's begin. We of course start off with Galen Busty of the Nordic Beasts. Level 3 Light Beast Tuner, 300 attack and 100 defense, and its effect is, when you use this for Synchro Material, you can treat this as any one of the Nordic Tuners. Your Aziers or Nordic Gods require you to have a specific tuner to summon each of them, so this substitute really helps out. But there's more to this card, because its main effect is, if this card is no more special summon, you can special summon one Nordic monster from your hand. Every extra special summon in this deck really helps because this deck really needs those special summons, especially setting up at least three monsters, that being one tuner and two non-tuners, for your god. But it has another effect where you can target one monster in your graveyard, except itself and add it to your hand. Each effect has a hard once per turn. This is an instant 3-up because it adds so much consistency to Nordics, sets up a lot of plays, and the substitution of being a different type of tuner is also very helpful. Next, Invidy of the Nordic Smith, level 4 Earth Warrior with 1500 attack and 700 defense, and its effect is, if you control a Nordic or Azir monster, you can special summon this card from hand. This is already instant 3-up because that special summon obviously helps. It also has a second effect where if this card is no more special summon, you can add one Nordic Relic card from your deck to your hand, aka your spellers or traps. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Instant 3-of, can special summon itself, which sets up another play of course, and also searches your spells and traps. And now to our only spell, Nordic Relic Hitskedleth, which is a normal spell, and its effect is, you can only use one of these per turn, and one of these two effects once per turn. The first one being, special summon one Nordic monster from your deck, but you cannot special summon monsters from your extra track for the rest of the turn except for Aziers. A consistency searcher that can special summon from deck, with no level restriction. This is an automatic 3 of just with this first effect. Especially because there's no level restriction, you got level 10 monsters like Fenrir in your main deck, which you can use it as a 4000 attack beat stick. Yeah, but the second effect is, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then add one Nordic monster from your deck to your hand. Then shuffle one card from hand to your deck. It's a consistency searcher for a second part effect, but the first part of its effect is what's actually important, because a direct special summon from deck is an automatic 3 of, especially with no level restrictions. And finally, our last card, which is a trap, Nordic Relic Savarin. It's a continuous trap, and its effect is you can only use one of the two effects of this card's name once per turn. And you can only use the effect of this card once per turn. The first one is, if you control Azir Monster, negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent controls until the end of the turn. That's pretty nice, a mass negate is always powerful. But the second part of its effect is, you can tribute one order monster, then special summon one Azir monster from your graveyard. Both effects is overall very useful, the mass negate is definitely very powerful. But a trade of one of your weak monsters for a Nordic boss monster, especially in later turns where you're going to be running out of resources, that's very nice. Especially because your Nordic gods can resurrect themselves as long as you got their appropriate tuner in the graveyard. So that's it for the Nordic support in Battle of Chaos. It's only 4 cards, but these 4 cards really help out a lot in the Nordic deck. Adds so much consistency, more special summons which of course will set up your plays, and overall can also help you with some comeback. And so far for the past year, Konami has been giving good support for legacy archetypes. So continue what you're doing. But on that, see you all next time.